What's up, Internet? This is Rambling Josh, and you're watching another episode of Let's Play Over Battle 64. Today we continue the assault on Crenel Canyon. And I believe I'm going to send out both Dio and Leia to take over this stronghold. And down here, I'm going to send Fidach. But I'm going to send him... About there. I want him to be the uh, the one like assaulting this path, but he can't actually liberate that stronghold. At least I don't think he can. Did I check out this shop last time? The shop at Kiefer? I don't know. I guess not. So we got spell books. We got simply staff. Those are both uh, required to make a wizard. We got robe, which is for a wizard. I think it's also you need a robe for a doll master. A cleric's vestment is of course for a cleric, which is dressed as for a witch. Uh, I've already got a wizard, so I don't need to worry about buying any of this stuff. I I got a couple clerics vestments. Rosary is for a cleric. Necklaces for a wizard, and then our normal restorative items. Mandy's gonna rest up a bit, but I might as well turn her around. And if we press the C right button, we can bring up like a little mini map so we can kind of observe the battle progress without actually moving the thing around. So, Fidatch is just gonna finish off this unit here. Ain't no big problem. And it's kind of important to spread out your uh, unit's usage a little bit, rather than using, you know, nothing but Magnus. And for no other reason than because um, one of the ways that you can actually change your alignment, or that alignment changes, rather, um, is if you are consistently fighting enemies that are lower level than you, then you will gradually start to lose alignment. So for example, uh, my first time through the game, uh, I basically just abused Magnus over and over and over again. He was like 20 levels above everyone else. So he ended up being really high level obviously, and his alignment got really low. And that's not necessarily a bad thing to be low alignment, but in general you want to be able to control it rather than having it just be set to low no matter what. And just a random little scene here that doesn't actually mean anything. Unfortunately, the enemy wizard leader is hiding behind the uh, soldier reserves there, so... Gonna have to work on this one a little bit. Now, the spells that a wizard uses is actually determined by... Well, at this point in the game, at least, it's determined by the element of the wizard. They can only use spells that are the same element as them. So a fire elemental wizard will always use a fireball and so forth. So if we look at this, uh, we can see there's a, in the top left there's like a little red V thing. And that shows that this guy is fire elemental, so he uses fireball. This wizard, there's a little green thing. He's earth elemental, so he uses acid vapor. And there are different spells for other elements. You do eventually get other uh, spells that can... Like, uh, you, you can get spell books and stuff that change what spells you use. This is a rather silly unit. I'm not sure why you would put the knight in the back, and... I'm not sure why, if you were putting the knight in the back, you wouldn't at least put him behind the dragon, but... This is the early stages of the game, so... Not everyone's always gonna be all good units and stuff. Even at, by the end of the game, sometimes the enemy units are kind of questionable. 
Looks like we're gonna... Oh, okay, well before that we're going to encounter this wizard once again. Hopefully we should be able to do some real damage this time. Luckily, uh, knights are fairly resilient to magic. Not super resilient, but more resilient than some of them. I also gave the... these guys also all have boulder swords, so they're... These uh, fighters even do pretty decent damage. Okay, so that should knock off that wizard. Now we're going to encounter this other wizard unit from behind. Dio's getting a little bit low on health, so... Gonna wanna pull, pull him back a little bit after this fight. But assuming I win, I should uh, be able to have him rest in the stronghold for a little while. And maybe use Leia to pick off the remaining units. Doesn't look like anyone's gonna die, but it's not the end of the world. Might have actually been in trouble there if uh, the enemy's formation wasn't terrible. Okay, Orwell got Ulam. Let's pause this and turn Lay around to go after this knight fellow so that. Uh, he doesn't uh, hit Dio in the back. Now, I'm tempted to send Orwell after these two units, uh, just because he hasn't really gotten a whole lot of combat, but I think I'm actually going to send Fidatch after them, because uh, one is a Berserker and one is a Wizard, which are both uh, chaotic enemies. And I want uh, Fidatch to gain alignment. I want him to be uh, lawful eventually. Well, he's already kind of lawful, but... It's best to start these things early. And we found a breastplate. Now you can go to the stronghold. Okay, liberated that. Turn Fidatch around. Go after you. Mad Dog. Looks like they got a enemy Valkyrie heading to our uh, eastern stronghold there. I should be able to finish this guy off, no problem. Down he goes. No alignment, no level ups. Soon enough, Fidat should be promoting one of his guys as well. He's he's been winning a lot of fights, although he's only got two soldier reserves, so it's going to be a little bit slower process for him. Now I'm going to send Mandy up and go like that because there's an item hidden around here. If you do miss an item, it's not the end of the world because you can always come back to these maps in between uh, missions. There we find a rapier, which is the weapon required to make a uh, dragon tamer. These pesky golems are kind of hard to kill, but they're well, I don't want to say free win, but they're a fairly easy win, so if you're looking to promote, there we go, we got a fighter. Not that a fighter in the back row is much better than a fighter, or a, a soldier reserve, but we'll take what we can get. Go get her, Dio! In the middle row there, they've got a uh, an imp, which is a completely terrible unit that is only barely better than a empty space. He 
See, they, it uh, inflicted power down on my Amazon there. So she did 7 damage instead of like, I don't know, 10. Certainly not the end of the world. They have a couple other abilities that they can use depending on what row they're placed in, but none of them are particularly dangerous. Alright, looks like we should finish off this golem now. Down he goes. Alignment up! And level up! Alright. And we find a bone helm, which is another item that's required for a uh, dragon tamer. That is, of course, the helmet. And let's send Dio up after this Valkyrie. I do want to leave one person on my stronghold here because the uh, wizard dude here, he is resting up in his stronghold, so... He is going to be attacking me soon enough. And Mandy finds another Bone Helm. I wasn't quite uh, counting on finding a Bone Helm in the thingy up there. And I think I'm going to send Orwell up a little bit. Let's send him on the road. She should be camping out before too long. Go get her, Dio. Easy enough, considering I'm on the. She's on the edge of the map, so she doesn't have a whole lot of room to run away anymore. I just gotta finish off the dregs. Oh no! Not power down. Ninja should be fairly dead. Perhaps not quite. But because she's on the edge of the map, she's probably not going to be catapulted away very far, so I can re-engage her right away. I say her. The, the unit leader is a female, but of course she's been dead for a while now. Just the way she continues to be displayed on the world map. Or I guess not the world map, but the, the battle map. Oh, come on. There you go, that's more like it. And we got some alignment, and it leveled up for Dio. Check it out! And we find another plumed headband. Plumed headbands being a required equipment for uh, Valkyries, and that is not where we want to go. We want Dio to go back, no, back over the mountains. Are you going the right way, Dio? See, they kind of default to taking the path, and we don't actually want him to take the path, because that would lead him right into the level boss. And Orwell arrives at his destination just in time to face the bad guy wizard. Ooh, looks like we got the leader in front of us this time. You are set to attack leader, right? Yeah, sometimes people with range attacks they don't always listen to your uh, your battle strategy quite so well. At least, especially not at the beginning of the game. Towards the end of the game, when you're, uh, you're, I'm not quite sure how it's uh, determined, but uh, I think it's supposed to be your your units get better at like working together or something. So you, your unit will follow your commands more precisely. And he's going back to. Uh, going back to the stronghold yet again. Okay, here. 
That's enough. Go back to your stronghold. And Orwell, you might as well camp out for a little bit. Regenerate a couple HPs. Okay, turn Dior around. Send Leia out to the side of the keep. And hopefully we should be able to take out the uh, that stupid wizard dude next time he comes around. If not, then I guess we'll just skip him. Start going that way. Get her direction command so she can stop and have Orwell start moving this way. Looks like he's going after Leia. It's kind of hoping he would go after my wizard again, but Leia's unit should hopefully be able to actually take this guy out. The the leader at least. Maybe not. If my Amazon would actually follow my commands, then I probably would be able to. Dealt lots of damage, but that doesn't really help me if uh, it just sits on the stronghold again. Oh, nice. Knocked him right into my wizard. That's perfect. That sorceress should be dead. Probably not going to kill the leader. Actually, probably not going to kill anything at this point, but... Whatever. Nope, not quite, but they're quite low on health, so... Yeah. I don't want getting alignment up. Bad wizard. Ack. Now he's going back to the stronghold again. Okay, well... I think that's about enough for today, so we will finish this next time on Let's Play Ogre Battle 64. Catch you later!